AviationPros.com is the portal website for AMT, airport business, and ground support worldwide magazines. Visit daily for breaking news, industry blogs, and insightful articles from our magazine's editorial team. And don't forget to sign up for our publication's daily e-newsletters. It's all at AviationPros.com. Welcome to the Aviation Pros Podcast. I'm Josh Smith, editor of Ground Support Worldwide, and today we're speaking with Hani Marin, Development and Communications Director at AirPro in Finland, to learn more about their company's recent community-based environmental initiative that took place in conjunction with their recent de-icer deployment. So thanks for taking some time to share more on this unique topic, Hani. Thank you, and thanks for having me. (laughs) We're excited to speak with you more, and uh, as alluded to, AirPro recently commissioned electric vehicles into its de-icer fleet. And as part of that deployment, AirPro asked local kindergarten students to decorate the de-icers with pictures of what they felt environmentally friendly aviation should look like. So let's start with some background. What what prompted you to embark on a, a unique project like this? Uh, yes. Uh, well, when we decided to make this is investment, e- even with the COVID-19 affecting our business heavily, uh, we saw an opportunity to, to raise awareness that with every decision we can impact to the future. And in our scale, this investment is remarkable. And so we needed to make an wow effect uh, as well in this. So. When we make this decision for the future and the future generation, I thought it would be a great idea to actually take the future generation in, in to be a part of the conversation and not only to talk about it. And we actually have this local kindergarten, which is uh, which has these environmental goals in their uh, teaching. So it would be it. We saw it's a perfect match to have the conversation with them because they have the goals. What? also in environment as we do. And I'm sure there is some unique perspective asking uh, students that age to share what they expect, you know, um, your environmentally friendly aviation uh, and what that looks like. So can you share a few examples of the drawings you received from the students? What did they what did they envision? So we had 14 kids with us in the beginning of the sum- this summer, and we talked with them uh, about aviation first, and then we talked about a little bit about uh, environment issues, and we played this magnet game what we had made for them. And of course, we watched a few videos about the icing, and we talked about uh, what does it mean to and why we need to de-ice air, airplanes and so on. And the kids were their imagination. It's wild. They they were five years old at that time, so you can imagine the questions and ideas and so on. There were lots of hearts lots of animals and there were like things that eat pollution there were clouds that are taking over the like polluted clouds and so on so it was so much fun they were like uh, going all over with the place uh, with the ideas and one of the nicest drawings i think were this kid who draw their mother and a big heart because i think that their mother are working on environment issues because she was so on point of every questions that she had. So it was so lovely and like my heart uh, almost dropped when I saw the pictures. It was so nice. But their the imagination of five year old kids uh, talking about environment, it's huge. Well, I'm sure it was a lot of fun to go through the process with yeah. them. And then ultimately you chose a few to uh, be transferred onto the side of yeah. these de-icing trucks. So uh, yeah. how many of the children's pictures were ultimately chosen and um, how did AirPro kind of arrive at making that decision to determine which pictures yeah. were going to be placed on the trucks? So uh, at the end, we uh, had nine pictures, what we chose to on those uh, de-icers and we wanted to Actually, we wanted that uh, as many of the pictures what we can would be on the place, uh, on the canvas in a way, because we want that as many of the kids could have, uh, could see their drawings uh, on the de-icers. But uh, of course, we needed to choose 
those kind of pictures what uh, resembles something that you can actually see that it's a kid a kid's drawing and so on so we decided to have those uh, drawings where there is something else than just one color or just stripes so then uh, people who are seeing the deicers uh, when they're working can, can actually relate that okay these are uh, drawings from kids so th so our message would be uh, as clear as possible I think it would be better illustrated if we, you know, share maybe a photo or uh, embed yeah. a video of the project on our website where people yeah. are finding this uh, podcast. So we'll be sure to include that on this page as people are listening. But um, yeah. in some of those photos and videos, we can see that, um, you know, after the pictures were applied to the mm -hmm. de-icing vehicles, uh, AirPro invited the students to come see the completed yeah. work. And it looked like a, a pretty exciting event. Um, yep. You know, what activities were the students treated to during their visit, and you know, what was the, what were their reactions to to seeing the completed work uh, up on the yep. side of one of these large trucks? Yeah, so we had actually almost 40 kids. There were 38 kids and adults. Uh, there were like uh, almost 60 people with our group that day, and it was a very nice Friday morning. Uh, and uh, we we took a bus so it's safe to go around the airport so uh, for the kids we wanted to them see some airplanes and big machines and so on so we made a small tour at the airport and then we went to see the de-icers of course because it, it was the main event in a way and the kids were like totally excited about it you can imagine because they are big trucks and small kids and we were at in our this uh, one area where all, where all the trucks were and they we went around them and then we showed a little bit how they were kind of they are quite excited because you can go high up and see all the lights and everything and then we let the kids actually they could climb onto the trucks not on the top of the trucks but but uh in the in the inside of the truck and a little bit uh, try the wheel and so on and so it was quite exciting and uh, kids were really happy and I think all the adults were really happy uh, it was something not normally and not every day you can see those big machines so I think the kids were really really excited and uh, the tour around the airport was uh, exciting as well I was so happy and there were a lot of laughter and uh, smiles, so I think it went quite nicely. <laughs> I'm sure it did. It sounds like it was a, a pretty exciting day. Um, yeah. Let's take a, a quick break. Um, when we come back, we'll talk more with Hani Martin about Air Pros de-icers as they're being deployed in Finland. Would you like to reach key decision makers in the industry? Share your message on the Aviation Pros podcast and reach key leaders across all facets of aviation, including aircraft maintenance, airports, FBOs, airlines, and ground handling. Contact one of Aviation Pros' helpful account representatives to find out more. We're back with Hani Martin, and we've discussed the creativity behind Air Pro's recent de-icer deployment, and now I'd like to learn a little bit more about the company's efforts to enhance its sustainability while providing necessary ground services. So to begin, Hani, could you tell us a little bit about where the electric de-icers are currently in operation? Are they located at one location specifically, or are they being used across multiple stations? Yes. So uh, these four uh, electric de-icers, uh, they are working and operating in Helsinki Airport, uh, which is the biggest airport in Finland. And of course, our biggest volumes are in Helsinki Airport as well. So we are using them now in Helsinki Airport. And are there additional plans to expand the use of this model of de-icer? Mm -hmm. uh, well, let's see. But of course, if everything goes smoothly with these new new de-icers, and of course, if everything goes smoothly in our volumes and AirPro keeps on growing, then possibly we'll, we'll see to that. But at the moment, uh, we need to see. And uh, uh, this was a big investment for the future already. So I think we are uh, maybe settled for at least for this and next year, but we'll see. You never know. Everything changes so rapidly. That's true. Yes. So, uh, but when selecting uh, these de-icers, um, which were manufactured by Vestigard, uh, what features were most important to you when you know selecting uh, this particular model of unit? 
So, uh, of course, our goal is to invest energy and emission efficient fleet always when it's possible. So we were really interested in this new and first in the world electric electrically operated de-icers and of course the elements which makes the actual work easier and more pleasant and safe for the user are in our interest in very high. And with this Elephant e-beta model, uh, Vestercard company has thought a lot about the user. So that was really important factor for as well. The safety, the um, energy uh, efficiency and uh, the user they these were these were the most important things for us beyond electric de-icers mm-hmm. i guess uh, how, how do these vehicles fit I- within air pros larger sustainability goals that the company has uh, overall so uh we have decided that our sustainability goals lies heavily in our core business, which is ground handling, obviously. And actually, we have st- started the work since uh, 2015 when we decided that we uh, we are going to uh, invest always in uh, energy and efficient um, energy and emission efficient uh, fleet. And so we have uh, made a lot of decision based on that. And we have always wanted to all consider if we can be part of the innovation on the GSE market in a way. So if we could have helped uh, companies to try something, then would we, we would be there. So that's why when these de-icers came along, it was for us, it was a, almost like a no-brainer. Obviously, you need to think about the future and the, all the procurements. Uh, very, uh, you need to consider them really wisely. But this this was for us uh, an important step to take. And um, our sustainability goals are, of course, in the fleet uh, very highly. But then we want to make every decision also in our subcontra- subcontractors and our, for example, work workwear and our other energy energy issues uh, as sustainable as we can. So it's a larger larger issue as well. And I think with the de-icers, we saw also an opportunity to, with this campaign with the kids, we saw an opportunity to actually start a conversation what we need to have in this industry. We see we are quite small player in the industry in general, if you uh, want to say. Uh, we are not that Big in Finland either, but we are we are that kind of company that wants to help uh, the whole industry go further, and we need to have those conversations. And uh, me and my team, we really think that we need to have this conversation on the positive side, so how everyone can uh, make an um, impact, and that's why we uh, with the kind of heavy and. Uh, uh, heavy and big uh, decisions, we want to also uh, create something larger. And that's why we uh, wanted to make a use of this uh, procurement as well as a conversation starter and a little bit positive push towards uh, greener aviation, I would say. Yes, absolutely. Uh, thank you so much for all the insight uh, into mm-hmm. the uh, project with the uh, local students and as well as some some of the larger sustainability goals. We really appreciate that uh, perspective and, and that mm-hmm. insight from you. Thank you. That'll conclude this edition of the Aviation Pros podcast. But again, I'd like to thank our guest, Hani Martin. Uh, and if you'd like to learn more about uh, AirPro and the company's sustainability initiatives, please visit www.airpro.fi. And for more information about de-icing equipment, ground handling operations, and aviation sustainability, stay up to date by subscribing to Ground Support Worldwide's daily newsletters. And please continue to visit aviationpros.com.